Grey matter is important, but not much is known about it. That's the message from the University of Otago's Brain Health Research Centre. Part of its public awareness program includes the giant brain. And Research Centre student Tim Hintz says people have been keen to expand their minds through the exhibition. What we're showing them is how different conditions can actually affect the brain and how it, how it looks. I, the, the, the idea being that we expose the public to what the brain actually looks like. The brain cost $25,000 and about 15 students on duty at the gallery are using it to explain neurological conditions such as Alzheimer's disease. Hintz says the research centre has been set up to ultimately cure and treat brain health issues and enlightening the public plays a part in that. It's something Linda Cullen of the Art Gallery is happy to help with. We just had no idea that so many people would be interested in coming in to have a look at a giant brain and to walk through a brain. And we just thought the opportunity to have um, something so fantastic at the gallery was great. The brain display opened at the gallery on Saturday and closed today. Now the inflatable organ will be packed away until the Science Festival in July when residents will again have the opportunity to learn some mind-blowing facts like this. If you were to get a, a, a big a pile of lard, you know, fat, and you were heated up a little bit, that sort of slimy, gooey texture, that's what the brain's like. David DeLorean, 39, Dunedin News.